So I went down the garden centre, got these two things. So I'm just very quickly filming since the sun is making such a perfect little dapple of them. But before I tell you any more about them, I need to go and get some lunch. Well, I don't know about you, but I reckon that looks pretty nice already. I haven't even planted it. Combo between the supposedly mauve, I think it looks a bit more just plain old purple, and the uh, orange, yellow, red of the lily. Nice. So, here we go. Time to get planting. I think I will put this basically here, except not on the brick, obviously. Um, basically here, um, which is a bit close to the St John's Wall, which is due to be quite a substantial bush but um this thing's supposedly quite short-lived maybe three years or something i think the internet says so i'm thinking by the time that is too big it'll probably take like if that's actually sort of in a corner here and then there's a foot of space 18 inches. It'll probably take a couple of years to fill that, won't it? I think that's arguably my only real choice though, because I could put it maybe there. I don't think there's anything else there. But it doesn't get as much sun, and that thing does apparently like sun. This little corner gets more sun, for sure. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. So there we go, planted. Unfortunately, in the time it's taken me to do that, the sun's gone. So, as usual, I'm worried that I've bought something too big for the only space that I've really got, and it's planted too close to the other things, but. I think that every time and so far I haven't killed many plants. Only one definitely dead on my watch I think. A couple of other maybes. So hopefully that will be alright at least for a couple of years. Apparently bees and butterflies really like it. Just realised I completely forgot to mention what this is called. It is Ericimum or Ericimum, I don't really know how you say it, I presume the former. It's a bowls mauve. Next up, we've got this thing. Which I probably should have remembered what it was called before I pressed record. It's an Ajuga. Ajuga Reptans. Or Bugle. As you can see, it's kind of blue. So it's for the blue bed somewhere. The question is where? So it seems to be a little bit traily cascady, so I'm thinking it can probably go along the wall and add to my row of cascady things. It's a bit cramped with the lavender maybe in this corner. focus. Yeah, maybe in that corner would be good. Dog a hole. Seems about right. As usual, it's a bit close to the stuff. It's only, what, like three, four inches away from the Forget me nots that I put in just the other day, but like I've said before, I tend to err on the side of just packing stuff in 
So I want it to be over planted more than under planted. So you get solid cover and then more insects and stuff. And secondly, I'm not entirely convinced these are gonna last. And thirdly, if the forget-me-nots do get crowded out and die, then hopefully the ones on the other side will survive. And my mum reckons once you've got a lump of forget-me-nots, then you're more likely to be struggling to contain them than anything else, so I can always spread some more around next year, I guess. So there we go, planted. Looks pretty nice. Convenient timing that it just happens to be catching the sun, which it doesn't do very often at all in this corner. But this one apparently likes partial shade, so I'm hoping that's okay. Uh, it's kind of funny how this looks almost indistinguishable from this weed, which is growing there. Um, nice blend, like I say, pretty close to the forget-me-nots, but plant them all, let God sort them out, although that's not really a quote I should be referencing, given that it's about some kind of massacre or genocide. Anyway. There we go, nice bit of planting.